second question was really a comment, not a question. It went as follows. Because of the Virial theorem and because of the negative gravitational potential energy, there is really no problem with negative specific heats for gravitating systems. And as to whether gravitational collapse is possible or not, we can conceive often in numerical simulations that you really don't have to have any matter present at all. You can just have vacuum, just space and time themselves, no matter at all, and that would collapse into a black hole. And since in vacuum the only equations that go in are the Einstein equations, and since in vacuum you don't need to put any equation of state, you don't need to put in any thermodynamics. Right, and my point is that maybe physics needs to rethink some of these ideas because what is happening here with these ideas of making a black hole from nothing or collapsing stars where you're in clear violation of thermodynamics, I mean, I think that there are some real problems in physics. We either honor the laws of thermodynamics or we say, hey, pass everybody on the test. Why am I taking the exam? So I, I'm trying to tell people that the laws of thermodynamics exist and they must be honored. So right now what is happening in physics is that people think that they can create any object from mathematics and say, yeah, this object works. And what I'm trying to say is that these objects do not work. Thermodynamics is telling you these things are in violation of the laws of thermodynamics. And this is an important observation. So thank you very much. I don't have to show you any stinking bashes.